Ashton, what do you think? Um, I mean, first of all, do you buy into the premise that there perhaps could be another one of these Main Street, Wall Street darlings that pops up? I think there have been Main Street, Wall Street darlings for some time. I think some of those will continue to be. The ones that we are most interested in are Microsoft and Amazon. Um, Amazon is one which I think has been a darling for both Wall Street and Main Street. I think it continues to be. I think the pullback makes it even more attractive. You have a cloud business and you talk to any enterprise today, they're talking about cloud transition. They have a $35 billion cloud business that's growing 40%. They have an advertising business that's really high margin. That's going from 15 billion doubling in the next few years. And you have one of the few large mega caps where actually margins can go up, unlike what we're seeing in a lot of other large mega caps. Do you assume that Apple isn't going to have the status that it did in terms of being such a widely owned stock and, and such an out, outperforming stock over years, yeah. beloved by not just Wall Street analysts, but retail investors too? Listen, Apple is a phenomenal consumer product. The iPhone is one of the best consumer products we've ever seen. I think the question that investors have to answer for themselves is that, you know, how much growth is left in Apple and is the valuation attractive? I think the valuation is very attractive. I think how much growth is really to be determined and whether it's China or domestic, how many people are willing to pay $1,000 or more for a handset? I think a question that a lot of people are grappling with. Paul, uh, who would you nominate? What stocks would you nominate for uh, for this kind of uh, darling status? You know, there are two ideas that I have. One is not purely a tech play. I would call it more techish, but I do think it does have a tech driver, and it's a American icon that everybody knows. It's Boeing, and Boeing has been slashed recently because of its ties to China. But I think over time, in commercial aviation, it's going to be very hard to avoid, even for the Chinese, an oligopolist. In the meantime, a lot of people don't know that Boeing has its own very interesting services business. And that is a big catalyst. It has been, and I think it will resume as a catalyst. So Boeing, ticker symbol BA, I like it much better where it was yesterday at 310. My other idea is a company that's been around a long time, and I think it's actually going to become more and more popular, first in the investment community, and over time, some more on Main Street and its advanced micro devices, AMD, hmm. because over the era of PCs, which essentially dominated the 80s and 90s, the kingpin, no doubt, was Intel. What's happening now is I do believe that AMD is going to take some share in servers in the data center in the night cycle, and also they're going to take some share in gaming systems from NVIDIA. And we remember years ago the Intel Inside campaign. AMD will never become a household name like Intel or even like Boeing, but you're going to hear a lot more from it. And I think over the next two or three years, both of these stocks go up at least 50%.